Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Possibly the first game I've ever played in my lifetime. It's still one of my favourites and I play it frequently. I know it very well. I have completed it several times and I will be doing the good ending in this Let's Play. Which is collecting all six Chaos Emeralds, which is not that difficult. So we're going to do that and I'm... Along the way I'm going to show you some uh, little hidden things, although I might not show you them all because I don't really need them all. I don't really need any of them, to be honest. Um, it's not often I die. If I do die, it'll be on Labyrinth or Scrap Brain Zone, uh, because there's some parts that are quite awkward, and even knowing what to do, you can still mess up quite easily. And yeah, I love the backgrounds, they look really pretty, uh, I love how just with uh, the walls, instead of having the uh, just tile squares, they actually put 3D indents in them to make them look less boring. This game came out in 1990, maybe? Okay, this is the first special stage to get the first Chaos Emerald, and I have been playing this since I was a child. And I still play it now quite frequently, and I love it. The soundtrack is very different for game music, especially back then, and it's just really good. It's not like proper music, but I consider this proper video game music, especially 2D platform. Okay, so that's the first Chaos Emerald. We need to do that another five times, but with different things obviously. Now most of you have either seen or played this game before because let's be honest it's a classic. Most people have at least tried it and if you tried it once and then didn't like it because it felt weird or you had a hard time playing it, it wasn't as easy as you thought. Most of these games when you first play them are quite difficult but after a couple of like uh, deaths and replays, you realise just how quick you pick it up and you get used to them very, very easily. Okay, so there's a little secret there. And then I'm just going to let the running shoes run out because otherwise I will probably kill myself for what I'm about to do because I don't like doing the next part with running shoes. because the running shoes allow me to jump further as well and sometimes I overstep my jump here with the running shoes. Not often, but enough times to make me not want to have the running shoes. So we'll get this extra life. And now we just need 21 rings to get another life the star power. In the background you might be able to hear my son crying but it's okay, he's with his mother. Okay. More rings. Don't really need them now, so I won't be hitting 200. Although you can quite easily hit 200. Oh. There we go. Giant ring. But this is probably my favourite Sonic game. Because I've spent more time playing it than any of the others. The others are still very good. And if you haven't played this game or completed it, I recommend you do so. It's just something you should do. Especially if you like old games. When this used to be compared to Mario, I'm pretty sure everyone can agree that at least Mario was a lot more difficult. I still have yet to complete Mario. I've played it a few times now. I have it on the NES. I tried it yesterday. I can't get past stage 5-2, I think it is. Just can't get past it. <laughs> so, 
one day I'll let's play that and maybe maybe I'll be able to finish it. Okay, uh, Act 3. This is, uh, I think in Sonic 2 and Sonic and Knuckles they only have two acts. But I quite like the three acts. I'm not really sure why they removed the uh, third act. Actually, with Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3, I think it's because the levels were huge as it was. Okay, so in this one, there's actually a little trick you can do to get loads of extra lives, you, which I, I will explain as we get there. It means doing this route twice, which I'll be doing anyway. Okay, so you hit the spring, or we can jump over the spikes, but we can do that next time. Okay, so we get the checkpoint. And then you get this life here. And you get these rings. And now you go back to where that spring was. And when we get there, this time we'll jump over the spikes instead. And in doing so, we'll find another life and some rings. And then we can kill ourselves. And then we can do that again, so we'll be at that checkpoint up there, and get the two lives again. So, you die once and get two lives, die once and get two lives. You can do that over and over. But, I obviously don't need to do that now. When I was a kid, on the other hand, I really did need to do that. Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, missed that as well. Okay. <laughs> Not doing what I should be doing. Let's just go through here and get to the boss. Um, no, I also got over 100 rings, so I got three lives. So yeah, that's something you can do. Ah, oh, Misty, Star Pal. It's something you can do if you want to get loads of lives if you're new at the game and need to. I, on the other hand, did not need to. Unlike when I was a child, no, I had a lot of trouble with this. Okay. This is the first time we see Robotnik in the Sonic series, and he's nothing to worry about. He's a very simple boss. And there we go. That is Sonic the Hedgehog, part one. I will load up Marble Zone, and then I will cut it there. I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. It's been fun to play again. And I will see you in the next part, when this loads up. Okay, there we go. See you in the next part.